everyone, welcome to my studio. It's a little bit messy at the moment with uh, bags of prints under the table because I'm trying to get ready for a market. Uh, lots of canvases in the corner over there. Uh, dogs sleeping on the floor. Got another one over in the corner as well. And just a regular art mess, like most artists. The last week though I've been working on some paintings of eucalyptus and especially my favourite one which is Silver Princess. So here's a little video of a painting that I did and I hope you enjoy. painting I did of my absolute favourite eucalyptus which is the silver princess. I've got a few of them in my neighbourhood so I'm lucky enough to get lots of reference photos for paintings. This painting I did in acrylic, I mainly use acrylics, it's, a, it's my favourite medium um, and I do the backgrounds in acrylic as well and most of my backgrounds are just a clear black colour so I love the contrast between the colours and the darkness behind it. Here I'm just brushing in some uh, veins on the leaf, the background for the veins. And then I go ahead and go over it with the liner brush just to get the lines in, more details. And then I, I go back again with the filbert, scrub over the top and then repeat the process with the liner brush again. Just scrubbing in the, the lines of the veins just to soften them out a bit there. And then I go back in in a minute with the liner brush again just to put the details back over. The reason these are my favourite eucalyptus is because I just really, really love the way the light shines through them. When you look at them and there's no light on them, they're such a dark leaf. And then when the light is coming through them, they're almost like a yellowy colour with the sun coming through. And just the, the colour changes in the leaves is just so, so beautiful. The veins on these leaves are like a yellowy whitey sort of color but they come down from the branch which is a red color and they're just it's just such a beautiful contrast between the red of the branch and the green of the leaves I'm just going ahead here with a liner brush just putting in the edges on this most of the edges on the leaves are actually a brownie color but when the Sun shines on them they look white and here I'm just blocking in the background with a brown color now the branches are more of a red but I like to get like a brown background just so then I can put the reds over the top and you sort of get that with the brown underneath it, it sort of gives it a, a dark background coming through the red. I'm using a filbert brush here which is my absolute favourite brush. I go through so many of these. I prefer them over a flat brush because I find when I use a flat brush I sort of splay it out a bit too much and I get bristles going where I don't want them to go so I tend to use a filbert brush for most of my painting. Here I've put the red over the top of the brown and you can sort of see it comes out like a nice deep orangey, orangey reddy browny colour underneath. Then right now I'm putting in the highlights on the branch. These branches from a distance will sometimes look like, like they have white painted over them but when you get up close and look at them it's a chalky effect over the top of the bark. And it's really really beautiful especially when the Sun shines on it so here I'm just sort of getting the edges there where the light was shining on the branch and also using sort of a, a, a glazing technique with the white paint sometimes it will help to give you a chalky effect so I'm just popping in that effect right there 
once again with my favourite brush, the Filbert brush. I'm just finishing up there on the edges. Now I'm just finishing up painting the buds on the end of the, the branches. I'm really sorry I forgot to film painting in the blossoms. I can't believe I forgot to film the blossoms, which is the best part of the tree. But these are the buds and they've got that same chalky effect that the branches do where the white covers the whole lot of the bark and may, and it, it's you know if you scrape it off it is brown underneath but that chalky effect um, makes the whole thing look white and they're absolute just look absolutely beautiful with the contrast against the red and the green so here's the finished piece and it is my absolute favorite gum tree and I think you can see why with all the contrast of the colors hope you enjoyed watching me paint it I really hope you like this painting and if you're interested in prints I'm going to have some available in the next couple of weeks but in the meantime I've got plenty of other prints available at my website and my Etsy store and I'll leave the links in the description below for you. Hope to see you all next time. Bye!